Right. Next phase. Picked up the cushions today from a uh, caravan breakers, and lots to do. But this is the sofa design, and uh, that will be a separate seat there. I don't know if that's in shot or not. So this is going to be the sitting room, sort of the communal area of the van. Again, uh, on a budget, did um, 150 quid, and I got these cushions, those cushions, and I got you know the big, big sofa cushions, the nice big ones that turn into the double bed. A set of them and everything, all that for 150 quid, and they're in good condition as well. And they've got lovely armrests with a nice solid back as well. So these can be manufactured into the build that I do so that uh, it fits in nice so I can tailor make it all the electrics and everything underneath so without sort of rattling on too much about it this is how it starts and uh, I'll show you throughout sofa and these could probably come in handy hopefully there's battens in between we'll see how it goes okay we'll cut another one now legal requirement is six foot uh, for a camper van bed so that's the reason I'm making sure that this is just over six foot so if it is used as a bed it meets the requirement as well okay what I'll do now is I'll measure now the, the depth of the seating with that and, uh, see how we go. Hopefully these buttons will be bang on the right size. I'll find out in a minute. Well, I've got my buttons now the right size that I want. So. Once you get the base built, your confidence starts to go up then. And the planning in your head as well, because you start to see the shape forming. So I'm not working from a diagram or anything, I've got a picture inside. Right, switch this off. Copyright ranges. Okay, I've built the box frame. I'm happy with the height. I've done it a bit higher because uh, I'm getting older. <laughs> um. Good 
thing about this is using these clamps. Gets everything nicely in position. So I'm going to do that all the way around all four. Just clamping it here and clamping it there is holding the whole thing together, which is encouraging as well as well. frames together, fairly sturdy, just need a few more supports and stuff like that. But what I'll do now is I'll put it in the van, put the cushions on it, have a look at it for height, retest it again, because if I'm not 100% happy, undo these screws, shave a bit off, get it to the right height, leg height, stuff like that, that's really important, you know. Okay, you can see she's in. I'm happy with that height because when you sit, your legs are nice and straight. I'll quickly show you. I built the framework and then I cut it down so that I've got the leg area because obviously the this table you can just see in the shot I think that one that's going against the wall and then the legs come down. So um, So I obviously wanted somewhere where you could swing your legs and sit and eat at the table and face each other. Um, so that was the idea behind the framework for that. So now it's a case of, got the frame, smart it up now, you know, create the trim, everything, get it looking so it's part of the furniture and part of the, uh, pardon the pun, but so it matches the van in all ways. And then that's, that's in, then the sofa's done. This wood's already been tantalised because it's, this wood's actually designed for outdoor use, just battens, you know, like on top of roofs and everything. It's not straight anyway. You know, it's warped or whatever, so you may as well use stuff like this. At least this stuff, although it might not be desirable to look at, but if you don't need to see it, the reason I'm varnishing this as well is we don't want things like mould spores or any form of damp or anything creating in the wood so this is just a good way of sealing it all as well. While well, I'm waiting for that varnish to go off on the uh, sofa frame, pull that out and because I don't want to go around the back of here anymore, I'm just tidying it up with some trim now <coughs> and I'm just tacking that in. There's always an awkward one at the end. It had to be you. If you do get a situation where it is a bit fiddly, hold it with pliers. And it fails. <laughs> Stuff it. There we go. We're in. 
So that's tacked into place now, ready for the sofa to go against it. This is the uh, foot plate I'm putting in now. This is where you'll uh, rest your feet when you're dining. So that's the reason I've used some of the thicker ply because I don't want it to give. And then also, I've done it in like a bridge design because wiring will go under there. Okay, before pressing anything else, I want to make sure I'm happy with how high that lip is there because I want an extra support for the armrest just on this side because it hasn't got a wall to lean against. So, cushions in, nice little overhang there. Down there. That's good. So I'm happy with that. Still undecided or not whether to cut this back. But I'm happy with the progress. So I'll put that last bit of wood in there and then I'll clad it up. So these are brilliant. Invest in them. It doesn't need loads of screws in because it's not an integral supporting mechanism. Right, what's that bit? <coughs> Cut the wood now. <coughs> Putting this piece across now. What I'm using is you know, kayaks, but I don't want the wood to move. All I'm doing is just pulling it together. That holds the frame, nips it, because that's not fastened yet. But that now is good enough for me to drill into, put two screws in, and I'll do the same with this one. Just little tips if you haven't got anyone to hold anything for you or you can't quite get a clamp in place. Obviously these straps are way too long because I use them from a kayak but we So happy with that. because that's going to be support as well so you want that to be well in and you inspect the screw although to be honest it doesn't really need a second screw I might just put the one in and I've done because <coughs> yeah well I think I'll just put one screw in so, down the centre Right, do the other side.
bagels out for him. I've got a support across here, and that's where the, uh, the hinge mechanism will go. Same as here, hinge mechanism across there, and then when you put the ply on, I cut it, fit the hinge, and you can lift it so you can get into there. Because I'm, I'm not putting drawers on the front. Yeah. So it doesn't move, I know it doesn't move, but it's only that extra hand. <laughs> Things can move when you take the drill off or lift it up, things can move around, you know. <laughs> this sun is absolutely gorgeous. <clears throat> you notice on most of my videos I'm either in a vest or no top on. Testament to the British finish. There you go, there's one in. So that's that side done, I'll get that side done now. And I found some white boarding. This is the base from uh, drawers, and I've cut it down. Sorry, top's got to come off. It's too nice. <coughs> and that's going across the back as a fascia. Right, it's all varnished. Um, like I say, it's a satin varnish, so it doesn't shine or anything, it's just to protect the wood. <clears throat> now that the framework's built and everything's in that I want to put in, and I've put all these in, so that's ready just for the bases to go on and to fit the hinge system across there. So again, laminate flooring, that makes the base there. Not as fussed about the back here because this is sort of like business end. Doesn't really go on show. But as long as it's secure, decent. Right, the other thing I've done made these from the cupboard fronts as well, uh, from the drawer bases. So I'll stick them in now. Okay, fitted board to the back there, and 
offcuts of tongue and grooves now. Going across the top there, so that creates a nice little kickboard. Putting the same across here now. Took that white piece of trim off because it was crap, but did have an idea. Had some offcuts of the laminate flooring, so a bit more rigid, and um, I'll give it a universal finish across there as well. So. So I'm just finishing off putting the tongue and groove across here, um, do that side, and then I'll do the fronts then, all across here. Right, I'm putting the last bits on, which is here. Uh, across there, a couple across there. I've done the floor like that, all the boarding and everything's in there. That and I've tongue and grooved that. That's all varnished now. Um, so, yeah, just this last few bits, and then it can go in the van. Um, okay, it's all completed up to a degree. As you can see inside now, nice space. Looks tidy, just need trim for the edges now to tidy all of this bit up. All the front fascias on. And all this is tacked up nice, that's tidy. <clears throat> and this is nice and solid. That'll take feet and things like that. Take somebody's body weight anyway. Okay, sofa's in. Fits nice. Nice and secure for sitting on. Just do the sit on test. Takes body weight well, doesn't move, nice and steady. So pleased with that. Of course, for dining, <clears throat> take shoes off for dining. Yeah, if you sit at the table there, you can eat a meal. So obviously, you take them away and you've got your table there. So Happy days. So I'll get this table in now. Okay, last of the chores. I've marked this using spirit level as well. These are one of the dining tables that clips in behind here. So. Started. So, <clears throat> let's try the table now. It's a clip variety, you see the clips there, look. So, what you'd basically do is table up, hook it onto there, and then you just push these across. Like so, that's the table in. Nice and level. And, obviously that will be fastened. You'd move them cushions for them. So. <sighs> Perfect height for eating. Job done. Excellent. There we go. Table, sofa, everything in. Um, looking good. Looking good. There we go. So that's everything. Um, next, I'll have to make a start on getting that in now. The sink and everything, so that I can close this bit off and then work towards the back bit. So thanks again for tuning in and uh, subscribe if you enjoy watching my videos um, like I say it's just a cheap way of building a camper van if you haven't got loads of money this is the way to do it beg, steal, borrow, second hand 
everything. But you can still end up with something nice that you can go away in. So yeah, keep watching and uh, subscribe if you're enjoying it anyway. So thanks for tuning in. Okay, right. Uh, cue the music.